Over the last two years, we've been uh, working on our choreographic de development uh, projects, including Amasset, which is a, a choreographic lab, uh, the IRs, which is a similar program. And now in, its, in my third year here, we thought, well, let's make something where, where people just create work and they get a little help uh, with publicity, they get a little help with, uh, with some coaching around the work itself, and they're given a platform of three weeks in which to show their work multiple times in different combinations with each other. You could look at the same work and see it different each time, and this is uh, uh, something that dancers in most cities uh, can't afford to do, and, and the public is also not engaged in that way to see dance. So around that, create an audience dialogue with that work. So we see this uh, Catalyst series as a way to, um, to step it up and, uh, and find a way to make dance um, goers as well as dance makers take that next step forward. I hope that, um, that we're providing a variety of looks to dance, maybe it's new for them, um, that, that it broadens the idea of what dance is in Boston, so that we're diversifying it a little bit more, um, and, and exciting people for future performances so that we have maybe different audience groups um, that are supporting you know, more artists and more variety. The plan for the Catalyst, I think, involves several things. I think um, it's promoting a new stage or era of teaching artists in Boston. Um, it is uh, moving toward higher levels of uh, quality in productions among emerging artists here or um, established artists even. And, um, and I think it's coming together as a community and trusting one another that we're all aspiring to a positive and successful future, whatever that success is, individually. I, I continuously think that I have to keep going forward. I have to, it's like out of necessity, it's born of necessity. And I think also with my training that it's about getting past or getting through uh, to something that is next, not necessarily new, but that has to be the next step. There has to be another place to go. So the whole series is is very exciting. There are a lot of guest artists coming from um, some major dance hub cities. Um, and what's exciting about that is, um, you know, I think it keeps us informed about what's hap happening on a national and global scale in dance and, and, and sort of what the trends are and, um, and also just providing an education that doesn't exist here, maybe in Boston. Um, and then locally, uh, it's introducing some dance artists that have been working here that have been part of the conservatory or the community um, in the Cambridge area and beyond um, who, who are hopefully going to be the next set of educators, improving technique, improving you know, quality of performance, and, um, and, and contributing to a larger pool of dancers in the area. There will also be a, a series of salons where the, the Catalysts and others will show works in progress. Those are on the first Sunday of every month, October through January, leading up to Catalysts and then beyond. So I hope people will take advantage of this time to, um, to question why they go to dance, why they make dances, uh, how can they make their dance experience that much more vital and, and vigorous. And we're ready for them. The Dance Complex, a dance building. Building dance.